Hello everyone and welcome to my Christmas book haul. Ding 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 ling. I wish I had some sort of hat or bells with me but I don't. But basically I've got loads and loads of books to show you guys. So I'm going to crack on. Um, these aren't books that I just got for Christmas. These are books that I got over the month of December from events or authors and publishers or friends. I've got some Secret Santa books that were sent to me. So... Let's get going. I'm going to start off with a Secret Santa I got. And I don't know who this is from at all. Like, I have absolutely no idea. But I was sent four books, I believe, from, from this person. And I'm going to show them to you. I got Jessica Spotswood Born Wicked, which is a witchcraft book. And I'm very excited about that for I love witches. I got Kendar Blake's uh, Anna Dressed in Blood, which I'm really excited about. I think it's kind of ghosts. It says on the book, not for younger readers, but I'm really excited about this. I've wanted to read this for quite a while. I read her other um, series, which is, I can't remember, oh my goodness, Anti-Goddess, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to starting this series. I also got given Night Witches by LJ Adlington, and I have no clue what this is. I think it's kind of steampunk, so I'm excited to get into that because I've never read a steampunk book before. Um, and obviously it's got witches in it, so. And I also got sent World After by Susan E.E. E. I have read for, uh, I have read Angel Fall, and I do own the proof copy of World After, but I still haven't read it yet. And I didn't read it because the proof copy didn't match my Angel Fall copy, and I didn't want them to go next to each other. So now I've got this book, it will look really nice next to my Angel Fall, and I'm really, really glad I got this because I was going to buy this myself. So thank you, Secret Santa, for those books. My amazing friend, Katie from OK Key, she sent me two books for Christmas, and she sent me... Bellfire by Kate Tiernan, which involves four books, Chalice of Wind, Circle of Ashes, Feather, A Feather of Stone, and A Necklace of Water. So I'm really excited about this because I loved her sweep series. Um, it's about witches, and this also is about witches, but it's about two twins separated at birth and something happens and then they find out about each other. Very excited. I am actually currently reading this and I'm only 85 pages in, but I'm hopefully going to finish this soon. It is 900 and so pages big, so... <laughs> Give me strength. She also sent me Bartimus, the amulet of Sam Samarkand. Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud. I don't know anything about this book. All I know is that she raved about it once to me. Um, and she thinks I'd really like it. And I think I would actually. I'm very intrigued about this series. I like the covers. The covers all match. So yeah, thank you so much, Katie. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to move on to books that I brought for myself, which were only two books this month. I brought Michael Grant's Gone, uh, which I'm really excited about. Laura, my friend Laura, raved about this book and she said that this series is amazing. And because I kind of like books with superpowers and dystopian reads, she said I'd really enjoy it. So I'm going to give it a go. And it's quite a big series, I think, as well, but I think it might be one of the series I read in 2014. I also bought a Dark Fantasy Magic Bites, and this is by Ilona Andrews and it's kind of about witches but they're assassins and they're sexy and dark and I'm really excited about it. You know me with witches, like if you just gotta say the word and I'll buy the book. So, and don't even get me started, so. <laughs> okay, my booktube secret Santa was Cheryl, I think I'm saying that right, but she sent me two books for the, My Secret Santa and I'm so grateful for what she sent me because I read one of them already and the other I'm really excited about. I read The Hallowed Ones by Laura Bickle and this was a fantastic, fantastic book based in an Amish, Amish community and it's like the apocalypse happens and you know people are dying off in the world and they kind of hear about it last but basically they're all turning into something and it's absolutely amazing it's such a unique story and I can't rave enough about this book so you guys need to go buy this because this is the best one of the best books I've read in 2013 and it's actually and I literally read it at the end of 2013 so I'm gonna add that into my top favorite book so really excited she also sent me sweet evil by Wendy Higgins which I'm really really excited about I absolutely love the cover I mean can we just can we just admire the quite the cover for a second but I think this is about kind of Nephilim, angels, you know, children of angels. So I'm really looking forward to that. I do love a good angel read, so... Yay! Now moving on to books I was given and brought 
um, from Casey from the Bitter Productions here on YouTube. I'll leave her links down below. She got me for Christmas a gift card, and I brought with the gift card Aragon and Eldest by Christopher Polony. Palau um, it's about dragons, and I've read, uh, watched the film, and I really enjoyed the film, even though some people didn't like the film. But I'm really excited about getting into this series. I've heard nothing but good things about it. And I promise, for those of you who've been around me um, for the past year, that I won't spill drink on this one, because the last one time I had Aragon, I spilled uh, drink on it, and it's now pages on my wall, so... But yeah, I'm really excited about this, and I love these covers. I think it's brilliant, and I haven't read a good dragon book before, so I'm really looking forward to this. The book, she gave me three books. She gave me Darkest Fear by Kate Turner, which is her new series, and I'm really excited about this. I believe this is like about shapeshifters, so you know, I'm all I'm all down for shapeshifters. I haven't read a good shapeshifting book before, and I'm really looking forward to dive into that. And also, Kate Turner is one of my favourite authors. She's not very good on Twitter. I've got to put it out there. She never replies to me when I send her fan messages. But she's still an amazing author, so I, I forgive her. She also gave me L.A. Weatherly's Angel, which I'm really excited about because I love angel books, and this one's quite a big, thick one, but it's by Osborne. I don't really know too much about it. I've just seen it on the shelves in shops all the time, and I'm really, really looking forward to diving into it. So thank you, Casey. Casey also gave me The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. Uh, some of you may know I'm really obsessed with the City of Bones and the Infernal Devices and anything really Cassandra Clare writes. So I'm very excited about getting into this and becoming more of a shadow hunter. Um, this summer I set myself a goal to be a shadow hunter by next summer, to summer of 2014. I'm still working on it. Do you know, I'm still working on it. I got sent two books from Walker this month and they are Trouble by Non Pratt, which I'm really excited about. I think it's kind of contemporary, but um, Casey from Bitter Productions again has raved about this book non-stop and I'm really sucks because I didn't get to meet her at the Walker event which just happened but I will be reading this really soon it is a proof cover um, the, I believe that's going to be the final one in the middle of the page and I'm really excited about it I think it's about teen pregnancy it says on the, the, uh, the top sharp funny and touching and it's a novel and it's called trouble and I'm really excited I'm really excited. They also sent me Leslie Walton's The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, and I think this is a, a book about a girl with wings, and that's all I know so far, but the cover is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really excited about diving into this. Um, I want to go into this book not really knowing anything about it. Walker are known for publishing fantastic books, and I'm sure this is just another one of their amazing finds. But I don't want to know too much about it, I want to go into it with a complete blank slate and then find out what it is at the end, so yay! Myra Inc. sent me Amy Carter's Porn, and this is Porn, Porn. <laughs> and I love Amy Carter's The Goddess Test series, like I ridiculously love that series. Um, and I was sent this series, and I think this is kind of a dystopian novel, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Again, I don't know too much about this book. All I know is it's by Amy Carter and she can write books. I mean, she can write books and I'm very excited about that. So, I'm. if you guys know anything about this book, let me know down in the comments below because I feel like this is something I would like to know um, stuff about before I go into reading it. I got sent two books from Horder this month. I got sent Witchfinder by Ruth Warburton. I'm meeting Ruth Warburton in January and I'm really excited about that. I absolutely love her writing. I love her writing styles. Um, this is part of the new series, Witchfinder series. I've read the Witch in Love series, which you guys know about, and the Witch in Winter and Witch Alone, and fantastic series. Um, but I'm meeting her in January and I'm very excited about that. And this is basically about a witch finder, somebody with the ability to notice witches in public and his job is to go and kill them. Except he gets sent to kill somebody and I think they fall in love. So, fool, you know me and my witches and my love, I can't... Okay, this is something I'm really excited about and this is Imposter by Suzanne Winokur. And this is a proof copy, but listen to the back. If Veronica Mars was in X-Men, this is the book. Like, this is the book. It's about superpowers and mystery and thriller and oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm actually planning on reading this ASAP, but I'm going to try and ask Myra, no, Horda, if they can send me the Kindle version if they've got one. I think that would be really handy for me. But, um, oh, I can't wait. I absolutely cannot wait. And Horda is literally one of my favourite publishers around at the moment. They are fantastic and they publish some 
bloody brilliant books. Moving on to the books that I was sent from Simon & Schuster and I got from their event. Um, and the first two are Everneath and Everbound by Brodie Ashton and these are a series by Brodie Ashton I got sent by Rip to review. So I'm really excited about this series. I don't know too much about it, but all I know is the covers are absolutely stunning and I've heard amazing things about this series. So I'm gonna get into it really, really soon. I won on Goodreads Unbreakable by Cami Garcia. I love Cami Garcia. This time last year I was reading Beautiful Creatures series and it was the first, well the Castle Chronicles series, sorry, um, by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll and it was the first series I read properly and that's what got me into booktube and I thank her for everything and I'm really excited about this book. I'm glad I won it because I was going to go and buy it otherwise but oh, I've heard mixed things but I don't care. Cami Garcia is literally the start of me so I'm just... Love you. Now I went to a Simon & Schuster event and I was given Dangerous Girls by Abigail Has, which is uh, really excited about, don't know too much about, but there you go. I met the author Paige Toon and this is her longest holiday, it's part of her series, they kind of, all the books in her series intertwine, but she signed it um, and it says, it says something when I find it. Dear Ben, hope you enjoy my latest chick lit story. Lots of love, Paige Toon. Uh, so it's a chick lit and that's okay, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a summer read though. The Longest Holiday. I think I might read it in the summer. Kind of looks like that kind of book. Do you get what I mean? I was given Romley Bernard's Find Me, which is about a girl who's amazing at hacking and things like that, and she uh, tries to find out who kills one of her friends, I believe, and I'm really excited about that. Yes, sir! I was also given 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. I'm really excited about this too. It won the Waterstones Children Book Prize in 2009. Don't know too much about it. I think it's a children's fantasy fairy book. There we go, dive into that. I met this uh, amazing author called Claire Furness, uh, and this is her book, The Year of the Rat, and it's basically about a girl whose mother dies, and for a year after, she sees her mother's spirit, and it's kind of a comedy, but sad. Um, it's about growing up and things like that, but she signed the book for me, and it says, for Ben, from Claire. So thanks for that, Claire, and I'm really excited to get into this. She was absolutely a stunning person. And when she read extract of her book, we like were all in tears, so... Right, okay, I think I'm actually obsessed. Rupert Wallace, The Dark Inside. An absolute amazing story and promise to the story. I can't wait to get into this. I, we met the author again and he signed my book for me and he said... To Ben, good luck with booktube, <laughs> with uh, Best Wishes Rupert. And it's really strange because we walked in and he was like, Oh yeah, you make the videos. And I was there like, yeah? like completely freaked out but this book also is about somebody whose mother dies and he's 13 years old and he discovers a homeless man in an abandoned house and it's it's kind of like magic reality like realism magic realism and i'm really looking forward to that i think it's got gypsies and things like that in witchy kind of characters very much so they are the books i got this christmas like during the month of december as well i'm really really lucky god i've got so many books i think i have to slow down now with buying books and speed up with reading books but thank you guys so much for watching it is officially a year since i started booktubing so i'm kind of freaking out inside a little bit but it's been the best year of my life so far i've had been on so many journeys and learned so many things i'm completely and utterly blessed so thank you guys so much for the support. Um, if you've read any of these books or are interested in any of these books, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked what you saw, and I will see you next time. Bye bye! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!